Is there a reason why you guys can't do this outside? Water break. Water break. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Oakley. Is this, is this? Really? Really? <laughs> and she's off. Wow! Is she gonna make this way? Look out, ugly! Water break. Oh gosh! <laughs> Wow, did you get that out of your system yet? Yeah? Good morning, audience. Did you get that out of your system? Whoa, really? Good morning, good morning. Is that, are you done? Wow. Mind you, you guys have only seen about two minutes of this. This has been going on for at least five to 10 minutes already. You guys were outside. You could have done all that outside. More fun inside, right? Yeah. Puppy parkour! Puppy parkour! Oh, yeah. You guys are crazy. <laughs> I don't think they're done yet. I think it's gonna continue out here. I was just like, open the door, open the door. Oh, okay, go! Yep, it's gonna continue out here. <laughs> Look out! It's still icy under the snow! Be careful! <laughs> Shelby's in a play bow. Can you see her back there? Oh my goodness. Wow, you have a lot of energy. Hi. Hey, there's a purple twinkle star out here. These girls are nuts. Memphis, it's still icy. Well, I said it's still icy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, eat some snow. Snow break. Snow break. Snow break. Gotta take a snow break. <laughs> really? Oh. <sighs> Really? You are a riot. <laughs> so we have a little story to tell you guys. <laughs> Here's a little story. So do you remember the video of us taking the dogs out sledding? And how there was one little tiny drone clip of the drone going like up above the trees, but there was no other real clips of like me on the sled with the dogs or anything else. Well, the drone crashed. And when the, dr the battery died and the drone decided to take off on its own and try to, because it was gonna do the emergency return to home thing and it flew up and when it flew up it hit a tree and as you can tell we were in pine trees and it hit the tree. I actually, I'll insert the clip right here. You do have it, don't you? I do. I do. Yeah, that, that that was pretty funny. She she goes, you know, the best thing about that was you didn't even it didn't even record when I went under this sled, but it recorded you crashing. <laughs> so when it crashed, it actually ripped the entire camera off of the drone. You can see, there's my damage. Oh, is there still damage yep, on it? Yeah. I didn't find that little piece in the woods, or else I had to super glue it back on. So Jamie ended up ordering parts. I did. And he fixed it. I had to order the cable there. I had to actually replace both cables because it's actually on a little vibration plate. You can see the plate there. I cracked oh. that too. And then there's oh, the did you? Yep. And then there's the cable going. I don't know if you can barely see that right between the two. Oh yeah. There's some ribbons there. Yep, broke that one. So he broke it, yes. but yeah, he I think fixed it, it. I think it landed like that. Whoops, I shouldn't hit it like yeah, that. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, You're gonna break the drone. Like 
So he fixed it, but because we really weren't sure if he was going to be able to fix it, thankfully it was only, what did you say, $38 in parts? Yeah. Yep. So $38 in parts fixed it, but because we weren't sure if he was going to be able to, hold on. We ended up buying basically what we wanted to be a backup drone. And look, it matches Jamie's Jeep. It's red, just like the Jeep. <laughs> this is the DJI Mavic Air. Not the Spark. This is the new one, the Mavic Air. So we bought this as a backup drone because... Like we said, we crashed that one and then we couldn't use it at all and we were without a drone and we were hoping to go to a fat bike race that night. We didn't end up doing that because we had no drone. So now we have this little one as a backup drone, but we're going to fly this one for the first time today. There's the drone in the air. We're trying to get it to do some cool shots with the Jeep. This asteroid shot. This asteroid. Oh, oh there it goes. There it goes. It's uh, it? Yep, it's doing it. I heard it. It went like checkpoint. I hope it's Go. recording. Hopefully. Uh, I can't see it no more. It's way it's up there. It's way up there. It, will it come back or do you have to drive it back? It's, I don't know. It stopped. So that it probably recorded and did that motion. home and I had to share something with you guys. A couple weeks ago when it got so cold and we had ice and all that horrible stuff outside and it was like below zero temperatures, I bought dog booties for the dogs. Well, because it's racing season and it was cold everywhere, they kind of sold out most places. But they came today and I've put them on Shelby's front feet and I would like to show them to you guys. This is to protect their feet. Uh, like if we go sledding and it's really cold, they have to have something on their feet. But look, I just put them on her. She's had them on for a few minutes. She actually doesn't seem too upset. I just did her front feet. I had a handful of treats when I was putting them on her. Hi Shelby, show them how you can walk in them. I know you're walking a little funny, but you're doing it. Come on. So she's got a little bit of a funny walk, but, oh, you heard me say walk? But I think they're actually going to work. So I got these from dogbooties.com. Let me show them to you. What I like about these, this is what a lot of people who run dogs actually use. They're really thin. They don't have anything crazy on the bottom. They're almost just like little dog socks. You're actually doing pretty good with those. I wonder what Memphis will think. Let's see what Memphis thinks. I did get some for Oakley too, just in case she ever actually needs them, but I highly doubt she'll ever actually need them. <laughs> So a lot of dogs actually have a really hard time with booties because most people buy the ones that are like really stiff and really hard for their feet to move. Look at, she's walking completely normal. She's only had these on like maybe five minutes. She's doing pretty good. It's like she doesn't even know they're there anymore. So if you guys are looking for booties for your dogs, dogbooties.com. You want to try some on? I got some for you too. Hold on, I'll get yours. So Memphis is definitely being a little bit more dramatic than Shelby. She won't even stand up. Come on, I'll give you a cookie. Come on. You can come all the way over here, I'll give you a treat. Come on, Memphis. Oh, you can do it. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. Good job, good girl. Here, here, have a cookie. Good job. She's like, oh, it's not so bad, I get cookies. So she's got, here, I'll give you a cookie too, even though you didn't do anything. She's got a little bit of high step going on. Here, Shelby, you want a cookie too? Okay. She's got a little bit of high step going on. Come on, Memphis. Come on. Shelby's, Shelby already doesn't even care that hers are on. Good girl. Good job. She's like, I don't know about these guys. Good girl. Here, jump up here. Yeah, see, you can do it. You can do it. She's like, I don't know, these are weird. Good job. So with a little bit of positive reinforcement, they'll think getting put, 
getting booties put on is a really good thing. Shelby already doesn't care. She's like, I could wear these all the time. I'm not going to put yours on, Oakley. Only if we absolutely have to. But these two might like, help them out a little bit. What do you think? I'm just like, nah, I still don't know how I feel. Okay, we'll take them off. Just short amounts of time at a time. Shelby, you did really good. I'm really proud of you. Shelby's actually testing hers outside. She doesn't even seem to care that she has them on. She ran all the way back there. That might help keep her feet a little warm. <laughs> and they're pretty cute. But we'll mostly use them when dog sledding, if it's like super, super cold outside, so that they can run for longer without hurting their feet. Look at her, she can run full speed. She's not even thinking about the fact that she has those on. Good job. Come on, Oakley. Oakley's like, I don't have cool shoes on. No, you don't have cool booties on, but you can run too. Memphis already went inside. You got that peps going in your step? I got pep in my step, guys. Pep in my step and snow on my back. <laughs> So today's just kind of one of them weird mishmash days. Started off with the dogs going crazy, then the drone arrived, then we decided to go test it out. Told you guys a story about how we crashed the drone. I don't know if we finished that story when we got home, but while we were out there, when Jamie landed his drone, one of the parts that he super glued actually snapped. It was like a $5 part and he's like, I can fix it, which he did until it landed again and then it snapped. So his drone is out of commission again, hence why we got the other one. And uh, now it's game night. And as you guys know, we don't really film much at game night because we just like to relax and have fun. And I don't know, maybe we'll film a little bit. There's not a whole lot of people coming over tonight, so I'm sure it's not going to be crazy exciting. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to go play some games. For those of you that are ever wondering what games we play during game night, there is an affiliate link to Amazon down below that has a list to a bunch of the different board games and stuff that we play. Look at her. Gosh, you're so cute. You know, I wish you knew how much we love you. I hope you know how much we love you. Like, I mean, we love all the dogs, but I hope you know how much we love you. Hi. You don't have to wake up. Yeah, you don't have to wake up. I was just telling you that I love you, that's all. <laughs> you can go back to sleep. Yeah, just, just put your head back down and go back to sleep. Bless you. Okay, well, I guess you're up now. Now that means you have to go outside. Either one, you choose. Oh, girls, do you want to go outside and see what happened? You want to go see what happened? Yeah, let's go see what happened. Come on, let's go. Let's go see what happened outside. Let's turn the light on so Oakley doesn't jump down the steps. Nobody jumped down the steps. Okay, ready? Where is Oakley? Is she coming? Yep. <laughs> oh, I can already see through the window what happened. Ready? Are you ready? Ready? Go! Holy man, Jamie, we've gotten a lot of snow. I know, I see that. Look at it, it's like sparkly snow. Wow. We got some snow! Look at how deep it is on Oakley's paws. <laughs> I'm shutting the door, it's cold. <laughs> so they said we were gonna get about three inches of snow tonight. You can kind of see Shelby sitting in it. It's already over her paws. It's very, very fluffy, kind of fine. Really super sparkly. I don't know if you guys can actually see how sparkly it is. It looks like snow glitter. Hmm. Hopefully it snows all night and we have tons by tomorrow morning. That's what we're hoping. Yeah, look at, look at how deep it is as Oakley walks through it. That's some pretty deep snow. She's all sparkly, I see it. <laughs> because the snow is so fine. Oh, I don't even know if you can see. See the sparkles? See what she walks? It looks like sparkles. <laughs> It doesn't, it's not like, hold on, let me shut this door. It's not like super snow flakes, but it's definitely super snow sparkles. You have sparkles. Snow sparkles. All right, you guys want a cookie and then go to bed? We're going to go ahead and call it a night here. I'm going to give these girls a cookie and then I think we're going to go to bed. So if you guys are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the potty dance. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Are you waiting for your cookie? Are you trying to tell me that they're they're right there? That's that's where the cookies are? They're right, they're right there. Those are the cookies? Would you like one? Okay. <laughs> Good night, audience.